So this video, we're going to continue to talk about um, rotational motion, another topic, uh, centripetal force, uh, centripetal acceleration. Um, so we um, actually, before this chapter, we mentioned about circular motion, but we didn't talk about circular motion in details. But we kind of know um, that if an object is doing a circular motion, Okay, because in fact, uh, in rotational motion, you think about this when you observe rotational motion, if you choose any point on the rotational object, uh, basically that point is doing some kind of circular motion. So, it is very important for us to talk about circular motion in this chapter. So, if you look at this um, object, this object is doing, let's say, uniform circular motion, meaning that the magnitude of the velocity is the same, but the direction of the velocity changes. And we uh, we talked about this before based on the definition of acceleration. If the direction of the velocity changes, that means there is an acceleration, right? If there is an acceleration, then in this case, we say we have centripetal acceleration, which is pointing towards the center. That's why we call this centripetal acceleration. And then based on Newton's second law, um, the uh, F equals MA, so if we have centripetal acceleration, then we have centripetal uh, force. So if you, again, if you look at the power point here uh, on the screen, uh, any force directed towards a fixed center is called a centripetal force. Centripetal means center seeking towards the center. So if you look at this girl, actually she's touring a tin can at the end of a string and then the tension force here actually she's trying to pull is acting as a centripetal force. So centripetal force could be any type of forces. It's not a special type of force. So we learn so many different kinds of special type of forces. For instance, uh, tension, gravity, uh, frictional forces, normal forces, okay. But Centripetal force is not a special type of force we're going to learn, but it could be any type of forces we learned, or could be a component of the forces we learned before, or could be a combination of all the forces um, for um, uh, the forces actually we learned before. Okay, so if you look at this equation here, so the centripetal force can be calculated by mass times tangential speed squared divided by the radius. Okay. So it depends on the mass, depends on the, how fast the object moves in the circle, and also the radius of the, of the circular motion. Okay. There are many, actually many different kinds of examples actually you can think about for circular motion. So for this case, if a car is moving, you know, if you have a, a car race, the car is moving uh, around in a circle. So for this case, how many forces are acting on, on this car? So the car has gravity, has normal force, then ha and has, because if, that, think about this, if the car, if the road is very smooth, then the car is going to slip outside. So that's why we have what? We have um, frictional force which is going to prevent the car from sli sk skidding off the road. So in this case, the uh, 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 frictional force is acting as a centripetal force. Okay. Um, okay, you can do all these problems for yourself. Okay. Before we talk about next centri uh, centrifugal force, I want to give you uh, some other examples about centripetal um, circular motion. So for instance, if you think about, um, so let me, let me give you some examples here. If you have earth here and you have a satellite is moving around earth in the circle. So for this case, actually, there is a gravitational force, which we're going to learn in the next chapter. Acting between the satellite and Earth, so this gravitational force is acting as a centripetal uh, force. Some of the um, other examples 
actually you can see from the tutorial from the worksheet I asked you guys to do after today's class okay I wanted to take a look at the uh, uh, page 44 okay so this also gives you an example about circular motion and then page 45 uh, this exercise shows you that okay so this pig is flying so you have a tension force and you have a gravity but the tension the combination of the tension force and gravity will uh, provide as a centripetal force you can you can do parallelogram here you can find out combination of these two forces and then you can see the combination of those two forces is acting as a centripetal force that's why the pig is flying like that okay so in other words if you talk about the centripetal force the centripetal force is not a special type of force it could be a tension could be a, a, a gravitational force it could be a frictional force or it could be a component of forces or could be a combination of different kinds of forces so then if you look at the um, centrifugal force, okay, it says, although centripetal force is center directed, an occupant inside a rotating system seems to experience an outward force. This apparent out force is called a centrifugal force, which means center fleeing or away from the center. But in reality, actually, we don't, we don't have a centrifugal force okay so what happens here is we're saying that you know so for instance if you think about um, um, a washing machine right so washing machine at the last stage of the washing machine you know uh, you're gonna get rid of the, all the water right so on the walls of the of the washing machine the inner uh, cylinder over there so there are a lot of holes there okay so the 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 clothes actually if we think about the forces acting on the clothes there's a normal force coming from the wall of the cylinder acting on the clothes inside the the washing machine so that normal force in this case is acting as a rot uh, centripetal uh, force but if you think about the water because water is going to okay there are a lot of holes there, all right? So because there's no normal force, okay, it's lack of centripetal force, so the water is going to go out. Okay, so because of the we don't say there is a we don't say there is a centrifugal force. Okay. Instead we say that it's because of no centripetal force holding the, the water in a circular motion, that's why the water is going to come out. We're not talking about this topic, simulated gravity here. Okay, next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about angular momentum. But for today's class, I'm going to ask you to work on the worksheet, page 44, page 44, and page 45.